you know, it's not a given that I'm going to be able to get back to running because at some stage. Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? How's your running going? This video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the importance of a running journal or diary and why I'm going to be using one. But first, quick update on my injured knee. I've been to see the sports doctor, that was yesterday, and I am booked in to have an MRI tomorrow night, Sunday night, 10.20 p.m. Yep, that's a late one. Today, Saturday, doing another walk at Park Run here at Mansfield. I haven't done any running since the last video, guys, and won't be doing any running until I get the results of that MRI scan. But the sports doctor was quite positive yesterday. Um, I'm a little bit of a strange case, I guess you could say, because he was telling me that anyone looking at my scans from previous years on this left knee would think that there'd be no way in the world that I would be running. Just for a bit of background, if you are new here on the channel, guys, I do have a knee issue where I have a deterioration of cartilage in my left knee, which is causing in some areas bone on bone. Five years ago, I had that stress reaction to the tibia. Two and a half years ago, which I'd forgotten about, I had a very similar issue to what I'm experiencing right now, and I'm gonna to get to that in a little minute, and why I'm going to be keeping a running journal going forward. The doctor believes with me, it's a case of treating the patient and not the scans. But my scans on my left knee look horrible. He has encouraged me to keep running, mind you, at a lot lower mileage, a lot lower intensity, just to build back up again. He said, keep moving, keep the knee active, because that's what it's been used to. I'm not going to run until after I get the results of the scans because I just want to make sure that there is actually nothing more sinister going on in the knee after I had that running with the bike. Now what I didn't realise or remember from that last MRI two and a half years ago that I experienced exactly the same discomfort that I'm feeling right now. And that was after having that uh, crush fracture in my big tail. I had six or eight weeks off running and then went back to running and developed this knee pain. And that's exactly what's happened here. And that's also similar to what happened five years ago when I had that stress reaction in the tibia. I'd done a lot of high mileage, I think 2017. Can't remember how many marathons I ran back then, but there was two sub three hour marathons. There was a 200 kilometer week in there towards the end of the year, did for charity, a 60 kilometer run as part of that. And that was four weeks before the Melbourne Marathon where I ran that second sub three. And then I went straight into a half Ironman training block. And it was just too much for me to cope with, I think. And if I think now what has happened after Tarawera, I've had high mileage last year, a couple of marathon blocks, and a bit of a break after Tarawera. And here I am again with knee pain. So the similarities are a little bit uncanny, really, that Everything seems to be happening after a break from running or I've had high mileage. This is what brings me to keeping a running journal or diary going forward. Now, if I'd done that all along, I would have been able to go back to five years ago when it first happened with the stress reaction. And then two and a half years ago, when I had the toe crush fracture, I would have been able to look back and go, oh, look, the same thing has happened and there's just a pattern that keeps repeating. I need to break that pattern now. And it just shows you that how important it is to keep a journal or keep a diary of all your running. Now I know on Strava, you can put in some private notes to all your activities. I'm gonna start doing that as part of my journal from now on. But if you haven't got access to Strava or anything like that, then, you know, get yourself a journal or a diary. Start jotting down just a few things about each run that you do. Like your hydration, your nutrition, how much sleep you got that night, how you felt. Then, you know, you can always look back at history, I guess, and see what worked and what didn't. And I just have never done that. I've always just sort of relied on Strava to keep a record of my runs. 
without actually delving in a little bit deeper and breaking down each run, how I felt, etc. So I'm going to start doing that when I get back into running. And look, I encourage you to do it as well. Um, let me know down in the comments, guys, if you do keep a journal of some sort and what you put in your journal. Uh, be interested to know how other people go about it. But I just think it's really important, especially as I'm getting a bit older and these sort of patterns keep happening. It's about breaking the cycle, doing something different to make sure that the same thing doesn't happen over and over again. Well done. But there is one thing that I will do. This is all provided that I can actually get back to running and that the scans are okay. You know, it's not a given that I'm going to be able to get back to running because at some stage the knee is going to not allow me to keep running because of that deterioration or that degeneration of the cartilage. It'll get to a stage I know that it'll just become too uncomfortable to keep running. You know, it'll all depend on what this scan looks like compared to the one two and a half years ago and whether there is a lot of difference. But at the moment, I am positive. I know I want to get back into running, but it's going to look a lot different to what it has looked over the past probably four or five years. I need to look after the knee. If that means less mileage, if that means not doing long distance events, so be it. As long as I can get out and have a run, that's the main thing. But the most important thing from this video, guys, is uh, I encourage you to start a journal, start a running diary. Jot down all those little things that you want to remember and look back on. I'm sure that if you do, like me, it will become a handy tool. All right, I've got about half a K to go of Mansfield Park Run. And then that'll be number 404 completed of park runs and I want to give a shout out to everybody too who commented on the last video offering me support providing a lot of positive vibes towards me also those people who shared their injury stories I really do appreciate it so keep those comments coming guys and let me know if you're injured at the moment and you're struggling to get back into running we all got to stay positive and uh, encourage each other and that's what it's all about you're not alone you're certainly not the only person that's going through a, an injury period where you're running so reach out I might sign this video off before i get to the end if you got all the way through to this point of the video really do appreciate it until next time guys wherever you are run well run safe and i'll see you real soon Look at these good girls doing their stretching. Woo. Hello. Hello. Park run. Park run, yes. Excellent. Well done. You're Thank you. Excellent. Good. Thank you. Well done. Yep. Go through the whole course? No, no, not the whole course. Great. Thank you.